vocal utterance of a jovial and oftentimes jocular nature, accompanying the physical state in which the waste byproducts of the bodily processing of the gaseous substance upon which all natural bipedal organisms depend in order for their daily survival are expelled from the natural opening located on the human head and beneath the nose in a somewhat exaggerated and repetitive manner. Furthermore, let it be noted that said vocal utterance is performed in a somewhat sinister and disquieting fashion, having the possible side effect of causing the viewer to be mildly perturbed and possibly doubtful as to the nature and intentions of the character presently occupying the view screen in respect of this animated production of videography. Truly, Her Most Gracious Highness has displayed extraordinary generosity, benevolence and considerate kindness in deigning to proffer to two male siblings of relatively low social standing such as ourselves, particularly when viewed in comparison to that of the proposing party and her regal position, and furthermore notably in respect of her apparent absence of any regard for the labouring attire in which we are presently outfitted, having ourselves neither the requisite funds nor the time in which to acquire them in order to proceed forth and purchase garments of a standing befitting this social occasion, in dispatching via physically delivered mail an item of correspondence extending a royal invitation for the two of us to make our presence known by attending and sharing a communal meal with our greatly respected monarch's female offspring in the form of a simple yet elegant luncheon comprising, in my estimation, slices of pre-prepared fermented yeast between which are sandwiched such delicacies as the meat of swine to which treatment of elevated levels of heat has been previously applied, or perhaps slight of the green vegetable possessing soft innards and a comparatively tough outer skin that is commonly referred to as cucumber. Is not this the case, my fellow gentlemen, employed in the trade of undertaking repairs to water closets, fixing household plumbing, and occasionally making use of a plunger to clear sewage blockages, whose name was fixed by his maternal or possibly paternal ancestor at birth as Luigi? In spite of your clearly quite learned and astute summing up of the present conditions in which we find ourselves, the veracity and legitimacy of which I by no means intend to disparage by that which I am about to expound, I must nonetheless say that I find my thoughts inevitably carried to another plane of musing, namely the far more pressing subject of whether her most esteemed demi-sovereign person has prepared for us, in anticipation of our arrival at her designated venue, in a somewhat enhungered state, a generous supply of nourishment of continental origin, specifically having its roots in the geographical country of our birth, taking the form of elongated strips of processed unleavened wheat of the Durham variety, preferably slathered in a charitable quantity of sauces, dressings, garnishes and other delicacies, designated to enrich the sensation of the meal upon our taste buds and give us a proper cause to offer heartfelt gratitude to Her Royal Highness for the aboundingly palatable qualities of the aforementioned banquet. My well-loved and greatly treasured counterpart of kin, flesh and blood, whose name I have previously spoken during the course of this transmission, and thus shall not repeat on this occasion, I urge you at once to make haste in following my gaze to the direction in which my index finger currently points, and at this very moment beckons the averting of your attention. It would seem that affixed to the main point of entry to the realm over which our generous host reigns is an unsightly affront to its otherwise agreeable nature in the form of a board composed of material taken from deceased, savagely processed trees of the forest and fastened using iron circular fittings with sharpened appendages to the very same gate's capstone obscuring the true message it was intended to proclaim, and instead substituting this with a scrawled and shambolic remark from the hand of our most ill-tempered nemesis, implying that the kingdom in which we intended to reside for a brief period has in fact taken on a new name at the behest of an apparently hostile foreign party, who, in my estimation, without conducting their behaviour through the usual diplomatic avenues, has forced their nomenclature preferences upon this unsuspecting and peaceful land by means of a violent coup. Furthermore, I hereby reveal my true and proper reasons for approaching the structure I have just briefly described, namely, that carelessly fastened below the aforementioned board is a scrap of compressed papyrus bearing several imperfections, not the least of which is a notably large parting on the upper half above the wording imprinted thereupon. 
Now that the said accoutrement is both in my possession and presently in my grasp, I have been able to deduce, not only from its ragged appearance, but also from the autographic inscription located at the foot of the document which I presently discuss, that the identity of this telegram's original author is none other than the hated foe of this very domain, namely the lord and ruler of the race of reptiles of the Order Kelonia, whose armies have menaced and terrorized the soil upon which we stand since time immemorial. At the current time, I wish to declare my intention to proceed with the process of more properly and fully digesting the contents of this item of communication, and further I shall make known by means of speech to all parties the entire text of the said missive. The document begins thus. For the attention of the persistently irksome plagues upon my being, person and reign, identifiable by their inexplicable predisposition towards the insufferable trade of commode servicing. You will be rightly horrified to learn that together with my offspring I have been successful in conquering the nation administered by the head of state who takes her name from the fruit of a species of deciduous tree found chiefly in the region of northwest China, namely the kingdom of the eukaryotic organisms termed Amanita muscaria. In addition to the aforestated, in order to dissuade any reservations you may have concerning her well-being, I wish to reassure you that Her Imperial Highness is at this very moment being afforded the most considerate hospitality within the confines of one of the number of paid lodging establishments that take my name, which I have constructed since the moment in which my earlier mentioned conquest was successful. I defy thee in the most provocative of terms to employ your utmost efforts in attempting to locate your most dearly beloved ruler, for I fear that no matter the extent of the undertakings you may carry out towards that end, they will all, without exception, inevitably result in both disappointment and failure following the fruitless expenditure of your energies. Forsooth, my loyal travelling companion and relation of kith and kin, for it would appear that it falls only to us to both locate and perform a daring rescue of our considerate host, for the matter of her current predicament precludes any possibility of the actual supply on her part of the cordiality which she magnanimously extended to us in her earlier written correspondence. Indeed, my dear brother, your words carry a ring of clear truth and rightfully show the decisiveness of which characterise your actions during the course of our lives. If I may move to address those currently engaged in viewership of this moving picture production, I wish to exhort the very same persons to commit to us their utmost aid, assistance and succour as we embark on the task presented before us, with the ultimate eventual goal of reclaiming not only our most greatly respected empress, but also partaking of the said meal which even at this very moment continued to tempt, tantalise and beckon my sense of taste, not to mention my gastric system, which deprived of nourishment in anticipation of the impending but now tragically cancelled feast, spurs me onward in my pursuit of this most noble and luxurious goal. By the leave of the self-same audience to which my male blood relation has most recently appealed, I now make the presumption of your acceptance of the call for aid that has just now been presented. On this note, should it be that during the course of your journey you encounter any difficulty which you deem to be insurmountable concerning your own progress through the hostelry venues constructed by our chief rival, and providing you are so suitably confounded as to regard any further advancement impossible on account of your own lack of knowledge as to the means of operation, input, or general employment of this form of digital entertainment and the scenes presented herein, I beg that you consult the guidance publication encased within the carton from whence you first acquired access to this electronic diversion, from whose pages you will discover a wealth of enlightenment on all of the formerly stated subjects, thus empowering you to begin anew with a sense of purpose and direction that you were formerly lacking and indeed now seek.